All right, we are back with some Resident Evil remake. Here we are in the uh, mansion area. We're going to um, explore now, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yes, we are, Chess. Man, oh man, there's so much to see, so much to do. Um, unfortunately, a lot of things are still locked because we don't have the right key. Like that one, we need the armor key. We don't have that. This one, we... Well, it's just locked on the other side. Right. Sometimes it's as simple as just getting to the other side, opening the door, and there you go. But, uh... Um, to the other side. Yeah, basically. Unfortunately, our only option right now, or at least the closest one I should mention, is this door. But that's fine with me. I want... I want personally, I want to clear this side out. This, this is a good place to go um there's a lot of unuseful objects a lot of things this okay a lot of the doors if i remember correctly in this hallway are locked because we need the armor key we don't have the armor key i i don't have it either i think i know where to get it the unfortunate thing is it's oh is there is there nothing here there isn't anything and if you're if we were playing on hard mode there'd be two zombos just walking around interesting there's a lot more enemies in hard mode yeah so far it seems that way uh normal mode's pretty pretty good um i'm not i'm not going back though this is this is what we're playing as i i apologize if people are not happy with this and i'm being a little bit i'm being a little bitch about it but you know what that's just what we have to deal with today well, maybe maybe when the zombies do come, they'll be more spooky to you because you don't know when exactly they'll be there. Um. Well, we're gonna learn how to take care of uh, zombies in this part. Are you happy about that? You. I'm happy I, I about don't, that. I don't believe you. I think we're gonna see zero zombies this part. Uh. Well, think again. There, there's one right there. There's two. If this was hard mode, there'd be three. There's actually four. Actually, there there is three. There's just oh you man. Don't see him. Are you shooting? Oh. Him? You're shooting. Okay. I really want to take care of this guys. Unfortunately, I'm in a bad situation. Um, How bad also, of a situation? Well, he's right there. I can hide like a little bitch. I want to take care of him right here and then. He might be dead. If he's if he's you see dead. him bleed, he's dead. You have to he's, knife him. He's, he's dead. He's dead. Well, so to speak. Dead. Because zombies are already dead. He's, they're undead. He's, he's dead again. He's, he's re-dead. He's re-dead from Legend of Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> Very interesting connection. I was not expecting that today. Okay, let's see. First off, I'm going to do this. And then this this is really important right here. We need the fuel canteen. We need the fuel canteen, and here's how you take care of zombies, you see. Oh, that's important. I remember the fuel canteen. Yeah, special instructions for disposal of dead bodies. We have new information, which is pretty accurate, because this wasn't in the original, regarding those beings. The zombies, in other words. Yeah. They may appear to be dead, but in fact, they are able to come back to life. However, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Currently, there are no, there are two known methods to cease the resurrection: incineration or destruction of the head. Which you should know. Sometimes, if you're lucky, it's basically getting a critical in this game. You can shoot them, and their heads will explode. Mm. And that's basically getting critical, and you won't have to worry about them after that. But if you don't do it that way, which most likely you, most likely you won't. You just burn the bodies. So, yeah. And meanwhile, those of you who still have the will to live, oil has been placed in the first floor mansion. Take as much as you need. You'll need something to light it with, which you'll need to find by yourself. Uh, I believe this is one of the big differences between Claire and, or sorry, Jill and Chris. With Chris... You actually already have the lighter. 
and you have to find it with Jill. Yeah. Um, vice versa, if you're playing as Chris, you have to find old keys in order to lock stuff. I think she drawers. Jill does have the lockpick. She's the master of uh, she's the master of unlocking. Unlock. She's also a jivel sandwich. If she turns into a jivel sandwich. No, she doesn't. Barry saves her. Almost turns into a jivel sandwich. Yes, she almost turns into a jivel sandwich. Now then, this guy, he's taken care of for now. He's incapacitated. But that's not good enough. So, in order to really make sure, we have to burn him. Burn him. Also, don't stand on them. When you burn them, you will actually take, da like, fire damage. I like getting fire damage. It's not It's not good. Also, that guy... That guy needs to stand down. Combo number four. Oh, I got a critical! That's I don't need to- I don't need about. to light him on fire. He's already taken care of. He's got no head. Yeah. I- I was surprised. I honestly didn't think I was gonna be able to show that off. So those are actually the two ways to take care of them. You either get lucky like that, or you just have to burn them with, uh... What if you just leave them? Without burning them or getting a headshot? Yeah. Uh, they come back. They come back? But even but worse. Tell me, what if they're bleeding? Uh, they come back, but even worse. Oh, we haven't seen bad. what's worse yet, but we will. And you won't like it. I will definitely not like it. You won't like it. It's, it's why I like to think this game is a bit harder. Okay. So, unfortunately, with canteens like these, where you refill your canteen, or these tanks, where you refill your canteen. Yeah. Uh, they hold about four charges but the notes would take as much as you need uh, they need only hold for? about four charges basically if you if you need two you're gonna take half if you need one you're taking a quarter so in other words there is a quarter there uh, don't worry about these saves these were these were unfortunate prototypes of us actually recording and doing but all that is lost all that is gone it's dust in the wind, okay. man. All we are are just dust in the wind. Man, I haven't heard that song in, like, forever. I was bringing up a lot of old songs yesterday. Songs are good, but that song is kind of kind of sad, kind of dreary. I mean, I guess it fits for all this. I just realized something. All these, all I, these I, zombies I, are dust in the wind. Yes. I just realized... I'm missing something and I need it, and I, I actually I don't even know if I can use what I have to solve it, but I'm I'm gonna try. Let's see. I need this wood mount. I remember this wood mount becomes important. I guess we can try to examine it. Uh, maybe if we open it, there's some paper. Uh, nothing is written. It's gonna become important though. Uh, I believe it's very important. It's not super important. It's important enough, but it's not, like, crucial that you actually have it. I'm gonna see if I, I can think... actually use it, though. Alright, I'll see if you can use it. I will see if you can use it. Uh, it does involve going all the way down here. Uh, also, I need I need the armor key. I can't get the armor key. It's, I, ha I actually found the armor key, whoa. I, I, I think I know where the armor key is, it's just we don't have the means to grab it. I have it in my back pocket right now. <laughs> I would be impressed. Here we go. So it's an unlit fireplace, you know what we have to do? Light it on fire. Absolutely. Isn't that cozy? Isn't that a lot nicer? I'm gonna go warm my... warm myself near the fire. Now, we use this. We use that, actually. Oh. And lo and behold, is that a of wine? what? On the fireplace is that a bottle of wine? I'll see in a second. But now we have a map of the second floor. Ooh, that's actually how you get it. It's a little bit of a workaround. Uh, it definitely does look like liquor. Mmm, toasty. Yeah. Uh, I have to I have to say that's impressive how hot the metal plate got to actually that's burn awesome. lines into the paper. Well, you know. Sometimes people just light things on fire. 
We're not gonna get the helmet key for a while. I remember yeah, that. Helmet. helmet keys for losers, anyway. Uh, I would not say that. I just, I'm just saying we're not gonna get the helmet key for a while. No, I mean having the helmet key right now is loser for losers. No, it's not. It's success. It's just you're you're also breaking the game significantly if you're getting the helmet key this early in the game. Well, it's my least favorite key out of all the keys. I remember you have to fight a boss in order to get it. Yeah, that sounds about right. But anyways, let's Back see. Into the crate. Yeah, now this is where item management becomes very, very crucial because now it really is a puzzle of what do I need to keep and what do I need to get rid of? And it's not, it's not fun. I like not getting rid of ammo. Okay. Also something to note, you want to be careful going through this door because, uh, it, it looks like it's about to fall apart. That's what they said. I think you can go through this door about three times and then it's broken. Just leave the door open. Don't close it. Uh, that's not how this works. Let's see. Oh, I can go through the double doors. Ooh. I'm not ready to go through the double doors. I was just... I was just experimenting, you know, just just exploring. I guess I should open up my map to see what I got going on here, what's possible and what's not possible. So it looks like I can't go through those two doors, but it looks like I can go through that door on the far end, and then I can go through this door. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a zombie. <gasps> I see him. So basically, I just... Mm, kind of want to take care of him. I kind of want to make sure that this room is safe. This one I don't care about too much, as long as I clear it out. <laughs> what if the zombies could open doors? Uh, they might be able to. I mean, they're pretty mindless, but they're not that mindless. Like, oh, he's down for the count. But is he really? Oh, he Set is. He is. He's bleeding. Set him on fire. No, here's the thing. If they're not dead, like if they're laying down, but they're not bleeding like that. Yeah. Uh, and you try to light them on fire, it actually won't work. They'll just spring back they'll to life. Yeah, they'll just you try to light me on fire. Yeah, and it's it's really annoying because you know you're really close to them. It's unfortunate. Can't remember. There might be dogs here. Woof woof. I think we're pretty. Oh, hey! Speaking of which, give him a pat. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. Dog. Dog, dog suck. He's a good one. They they he suck. Your... Dogs don't he come back to life. Uh, that's something to note. Dogs are annoying, but they don't come back to life. It makes your Shibanitsu look like a a joke. Why why would you even say that? I don't even have a Shiba I Inu, whatever. Well, somebody does. Somebody does, but you know. You know, I have to wonder did, if there was if someone's a fan of Resident Evil. Do you think they and they happen to have a Doberman Pinscher? Do you think they dress them up like a Cerberus? That would be kind of cool. Yeah, I, I'm almost certain someone did. I'm sure, yeah, somebody made their dog Some cosplay. Resident Evil fan who happened to own a Doberman Pinscher had to have done this. Um, I yeah, will take that dagger. They don't take up inventory space, right? No, no. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, we got an ink ribbon and we got a shotgun. Now, if you're Jill, nothing to worry about. If you're... Chris, you got a lot to worry about. So, I, I think I remember you telling me about this. Uh, Jill, Jill has an unfortunate, or she, I don't know, she has, she's lucky in the sense that she has this damsel in distress thing going for her, and Barry will come and rescue her. Chris, he's no damsel in distress. He's just in distress. He's just in distress, but no one's going to save his day. Uh, they're gonna say, 
Someone's gonna save him if he has inconveniences, but other than that, like, that that's about it. I'm being cautious because I'm pretty sure there's a zombie around the corner somewhere. It, I I know there is. He's he he doesn't hear you yet, but so far I've gotten lucky. So the only real thing that we're coming back here for is said shotgun. I think there's a zombie in the bathtub. Is he taking a bath? I think he died in the water and he drowned. Now I I have to I have to say one thing, uh, it'd be really cool if there was like some sort of water effect where zombies like if they had a watery death they they just get really bloated and fat. They spit water at you too. No, not spit water. They just get really they they just absorb so much water that they're just fat. A bloated, a, like a boomer almost. Ah! I told you there was a zombie in the bathtub. There's a zombie in this tub. I'm pretty sure we need something in the tub too. That makes all this more unfortunate. You have to kill him. Well, I need to avoid him, but unfortunately there's not much I can do. Yeah. Oh, it was just that. Okay, first off. Oh, the room's the room's good. Okay. We're never coming back into this room. Ever again. Yeah. For situations like this, it's not recommended to actually light zombies on fire. Cause you'll just oh, be waiting so you you'll just be wasting your kerosene in that regard. Yeah. Oh. Actually this would be a good time to use an old key. I know they just gave us one, but it's actually not a bad idea to just use it. Unfortunately, I believe there is enemies in this room, but it's definitely... Oh. Ooh. He's on the other side. He's He, he wants to talk to you. <laughs> I, I think he wants to do a little more than talking. Okay, we definitely, we definitely need this. Okay, so... Word of advice, you have to come in here for this alone. Ooh. Yeah, it destroys plant growth. I want herbicide destroy plant growth. We we actually do need that. It's gonna be for a puzzle. Also, dogs. Dogs don't like oh, us being oh. here. There's a ton of herbs, by the way. Uh those would be beautiful to get. Unfortunately, limited inventory space. Yeah. Also, but. we need to go here. Unfortunately, I remember there's there's some pains to going in here. Pains. Like that. Ah! Oh man. I took care of that one just like nothing. Gave him a nice pet. Yeah. They're, they're not done. Now, the reason I do this is because... Because there's actually an item in here that I kind of want. Uh, it involves pushing this. For this. I definitely want that. Yeah. Now, the question is... Nope, there's still more goodies in here. I can't move that, so not gonna worry. There's probably a dog coming very soon. And he, he bit me. I'm infected. I'm gonna die. Chaz, I'm infected. You gotta put me down. Gonna... You gotta put All me right. down. I think you're gonna turn into a dog now, though. Uh, actually, no, that's not how this works. Resident Evil zombies, basically, they, they just, they, it doesn't matter. The, the virus will infect everything. Anyways, oh man, I used the mansion key. Was that actually, was that a sword key? I, I mean, I you guess I figured it key? out regardless, but yeah, it just leads back to this room. Now, I do oh, need yeah. those herbs. The problem is I really have no chest to access. And that's a big problem. It's a big problem for me. That's a big problem for you. It's the biggest. It's actually a bigger problem. For oh, me. well, it's a big problem for anybody playing this game. 
Uh, if I remember correctly, if you open the door, th there's a fun, there's a fun FMV if you try to open the door, but I think if you try to open the door, here you actually do have to fight a zombie or a dog, I don't remember, but it's, it's needless, and it's, it's dumb. I just dumb. wanna open the front door and run home. Now that said, I gotta figure out what to do here and now. Alright, um... I maybe maybe just maybe we might be able to actually solve a problem that we have which is I love solving problems which is where to find a chest we need a chest we've had a chest we can actually access that chest it's just a long way to get to that chest yeah which isn't bad it's just really time consuming I'd like something a lot closer uh, which might be this door which is beautiful I want to open this door the problem is I didn't have the means to do that right now the question is what to do what to do is there a zombo here there's a something there oh I hear him he's probably he's right there he was about to touch me there's two of them tell him no touch <laughs> I can't tell him no touch. Uh, I get. I guess I can take care of this guy from this angle. Oh, I got. I got a crit. He's dead. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's not dead, and I don't have knife. If I had knife, I'd be in much better. I'd be in a much better situation. I think. I think he's bleeding. This is actually working out pretty well for me because you see, uh, that I don't need to deal with that guy, and that guy is already dead. So therefore, I cleared out a nice proportion of this room. Me. Yeah. Uh, I need a helmet in order to unlock that, and well, that was just locked on the other side. That's that room that we were in a lot earlier, that hallway. So we're we're actually doing pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I think there's an oh there's a zombie right there, and we're out of kerosene. He's just gonna have to not die, or you kill him and then leave him. Yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with him. Hopefully, I can get more kerosene. Uh, I don't think I can though. Let's see. Well, there's handgun magazine. I need that. Let's see. I need this. I need to figure out some stuff. Actually, you know what? This has been a part. This has been a good part. I'm actually yeah. going to off screen. I'm going to adjust my inventory, uh, save, and when I get back, well, we'll just be here already to go for the next part. Cool. And other than that, I don't know. Uh, I hope you're enjoying Resident Evil. It's been quite a mansion exploration. Well, we have more to do. I gotta get those herbs, man.